Hey Foothill, my name is Erica Hussey. I'm on staff here and I get to work with the awesome team in Family Ministries. And I also uh, get to lead an awesome group of junior high girls on Wednesdays at Impact. And recently we read through the book of Esther and we got to chapter four and this chapter in particular really stood out to me. Um, we find Mordecai here and he's just heard the news that Haman has put out saying that he's gonna um, kill all the Jews on this particular date. And so he is in distress, he's in grieving, he's got his sackcloth on and he is um, running all over and he ends up at the palace gate and Esther hears about this and she's concerned. And so um, she asks someone to find out what's going on and he tells them, you know, like this is what's gonna happen. And you know, you're, you're the queen, you need to tell the king that this can't happen. And she's like, I can't do that. I can't just talk to the king whenever I want. I'm going to get killed. And uh, he, he tells her in verse 13, don't think to yourself that in the king's palace you will escape any more than any of the other Jews. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go, gather all the Jews to be found in Susa and hold a fast on my behalf and do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my young woman will also fast as you do. Then I will go to the king, though, is it, though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Mordecai then went away and did everything as Esther had ordered him. I love the story of Esther. It's one of the most um, incredible stories in the Bible. And one of the most remarkable things about this book is that the name of God is not mentioned in the whole book, um, but he's present in every single detail of this story. You see, Mordecai in his grieving didn't forget the promises that God had made to protect and deliver the Jews. He had faith and hope that God would deliver and that he would do it through Esther, even though she had doubts that she could do anything. Mordecai instilled, he encouraged Esther. He gave her hope and faith um, that God would protect her, that God would provide, and that he would use her to deliver the Jews. Um, he said that she was placed where she was for such a time as this. So when I read that, I couldn't help but think about our current circumstances and how we are where we are on purpose. And I asked these questions to myself. Am I living out God's will through my actions and words? Or do I doubt God's ability to work through me for his glory? See, God has placed us where we are on purpose. In this time, at this place, he has placed you where you are on purpose. And it's our choice to submit to God, to lay down our own desires and be used for his glory or to blind ourselves to his will. So when we submit to God and his will and his purpose, we're laying down our own desires and comforts. But the great thing is, is in return, we see God's hand working in our lives to bring encouragement and hope and faith to those around us. So church, would you be encouraged? Will you lay down your own comforts, your own desires, your own fears, your own anxieties, and begin to see how the Lord has placed you where you are at such a time as this in order to see his will fulfilled? Love you, church.